If you have been engaging with Ravens fans in the last 24 hours, you knew that we could definitely use some great news. And this is just that because the Baltimore Ravens are officially bringing back Kyle Vannoy, signing him to a two year deal worth nine million dollars. This news first broke on the Pat McAfee show. And this is amazing for so many different ways and for so many different reasons. We're going to talk about that in a little bit before we do. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you do not miss when the Ravens actually feel like doing something. I know it's been a while, but make sure you turn the notifications on. And if YouTube had a love button, then I would encourage you to press it for this video. But we're going to say just just leave a like on the video because we although we love this news, we got to show YouTube that we really like it a lot. So run them likes up, baby, because Calvinoy is officially back. And before we get into it. Special shout out to the newest team, Keep It Clean, patrons. Uh, shout out to Roy, uh, shout out to Todd, and shout out to The Boulder. So I appreciate all three of y'all becoming Team Keep It Clean patrons. If any of y'all would like to become a Team Keep It Clean patron as well, you can go to patreon.com slash engravenvids. And if you don't want to, it is A-OK. -okay. Now somebody who a lot of us wanted to become a Baltimore Raven once again was Kyle Vannoy, and now he is officially back. It's funny because whenever you heard Kyle Vannoy in interviews, whenever you heard him speak about the Baltimore Ravens, he would continue to say positive things. He would continue to talk about how great of a place it was, how great of a work environment it was, how much he loved it. And a lot of times he was talking like he was still a Raven, but he, of course, wasn't. And by how many people the Baltimore Ravens have lost this offseason – it really wouldn't have been a surprise if we would have lost Kyle Vannoy, too. The Baltimore Ravens, they lost 12, 12 unrestricted free agents this offseason. And that is insane. Um, but you still got a job to do as Eric DaCosta. And something that I mentioned to somebody yesterday in the comments section, uh, especially thinking about all the losses, thinking about all these players that signed elsewhere, thinking about how many holes the Baltimore Ravens have on their roster, Eric DaCosta, there's a lot of pressure on him this offseason. And I, in my opinion, I feel like he has to get this thing perfect. I feel like he just he, he cannot mess up in any area because while the Baltimore Ravens do have a lot of their core players like we've talked about in the past, they still have some significant holes that they have to fill. And edge and pass rush was certainly one of them because right now, when you think about their edge guys you lost Tyus Bowser even though you pretty much lost him the previous year um you lost Jadavian Clowney uh so at edge it was looking like oh okay um what's it gonna be you have a Dalfell way solid player was still waiting for him to have that breakout season and you also have David Ojabo who we've continued to talk about he can play but he hasn't played because he's just been hurt what's crazy about him in the minimal time that he's played he's been productive that's why there's that hope for David Ajabo it's like hey we know you could get to the quarterback we know you're gonna get a strip sack when you play we know you're gonna do your thing but you just can't trust him because he has not been able to stay healthy and that's why I feel like this this should not and cannot be the last move that the Baltimore Ravens and it will not be the last move that they do as far as edge guys, as far as pass rushers. But it is a great start. So bring Calvinoy back. Why would they bring Calvinoy back? Well, for the reasons that we've discussed already and because he was also productive as well. It was a career year for Calvinoy. And that's great. He got a career high nine sacks last season now we know sacks are not the end all be all but if you can get sex then that shows that you know how to be a closer you know how to be a finisher and that's so important in my opinion especially as a pass rusher now another thing that's significant about that is that Kyle Vannoy they Ravens signed him like I think after week three he wasn't even with the Baltimore Ravens a full season he wasn't and he still got a career high so that shows you how motivated he was and just how excellent he played in a short amount of time. And now we can picture Kyle Vannoy with the Baltimore Ravens, not only for a full season, but for a full offseason too. Because you think about that. How good of a player are you if you can come, into a, come, into, come to a team, not necessarily in the middle of the season, but after the season's already started, you don't know the defense. You got to learn the defense, learn the terminology, and, and you still able to produce like that? That says a lot to me 
Um, so shout out to Kyle Vannoy. And I remember when the Baltimore Ravens first signed him last year. I was cool with it. I was like, all right, cool. I hope he comes in and does his thing. But my expectations were not super duper high. But he came in and he showed out. So shout out to him. Now, I was, of course, hoping that we could bring back Jadavian Clowney as well. But two things that the Baltimore Ravens could not compete with when it came to the Carolina Panthers. They cannot compete with the money. And they cannot compete with Jadavian Clowney getting to play at the crib, getting to play at home, be close to his family. I know he said that. I believe he said that it may have been his grandmother that is having some health issues right now. It's somebody that's having some health issues right now. My apologies because I don't remember exactly who it was, but he said he just wanted to be able to be close uh, to his people. And I know he said he got some different like community stuff that he does uh, over there as well. So it, it worked out for him. Of course, again, wanted him to be a Baltimore Raven, but. I get it. The money is better over there and then the situation, the team not better, but the money and him being by his family, that trumps uh, everything. So no problem with him going to play back home. But with Kyle Vannoy, um, I am uh, looking forward to seeing uh, what he can do uh, as a Baltimore Raven. Now, uh, it'll be a lot more pressure on him because he doesn't have Jadavian Clowney playing opposite him. So I wonder how that will impact things. Uh, so it, it, it all depends on um, not how Mike McDonald, but how Zachary Orr deploys him, how Zachary Orr is going to end up using him in his defense. Oh, yeah, this, that's exciting, man. I'm, I'm happy for Zach Orr. Hey, hey, this is a big opportunity for him, man. And I know he's going to go out there and, and do his thing. Uh, and then it's going to lead to even more opportunities for him in the future. So shout out to Kyle Vannoy, uh coming back now. Somebody who a lot of fans are hoping ends up coming to the team uh, had a top 30 visit with the Baltimore Ravens today, and that is offensive lineman Troy uh, Fortino. Uh And he, uh, he, him visiting with the Baltimore Ravens, a lot of people think that he, he may be available. Some people think that he might not be available, um, but we'll see what happens uh, come draft time. Now, um, he is a big athletic offensive lineman. And in my opinion, I think the Baltimore Ravens could use some more of those because Tyler Linderbaum, he is one of those. He can move around. He's strong. He's a big country boy, and he'll knock you on your butt quick. Uh, and then you got Ronnie Stanley on the left side. When he's healthy, he can do a lot of that same stuff. Uh, but then we got, oh, well, we don't know who else we got because we don't know who the starters are going to be. Whether it's going to be Pat McCarry, whether it's going to be Daniel Falele, whether it's going to be Josh Jones, whether we'll see when we get there. But having somebody like him, like Troy, and I know I probably butchered his last name, so my apologies. I know y'all going to get on me in the comment section about that. But having somebody like him, somebody big, somebody strong, somebody who can move as an offensive lineman. That can make life easier for your quarterback. That can make life easier for your running backs as well. Because especially in today's day and age of offense in the NFL, you got to be able to move. These offenses are crazy. They're doing all this crazy type of stuff. And I expect the Ravens to incorporate a lot of that crazy type of stuff this year, as they did enough times last year too. But you can't just be this big statue. No, you can't. Especially when your quarterback ain't no statue at all. He is the exact opposite of a statue. Because, you know, obviously Lamar, he can move. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how the Baltimore Ravens address offensive line. I am, like we all are, very concerned about it because it's getting a little late. Like the draft, of course, is a little less than a month away. and But you're, you're not going to address it all through the draft. So a lot of us are still wondering what the Baltimore Ravens are going to do. Uh, are some of the starters already on the roster? They could be. Like, I do think Ben Cleveland could end up being a starter at right guard. Uh, Daniel Falele is an option. You got Andrew Voorhees. You got Pat McCarry. So it's not like you don't have any options, but you just want to have even more options thrown into the mix. And the same thing we've been talking about with David Ajabo, how you cannot put all your eggs into that basket. It's the same thing with Andrew Voorhees. Potentials there, all the potential in the world, did his thing at college on a collegiate level, but in the NFL, hasn't been healthy yet. So you can't just be like, all right, hey, this is going to be our guy. If he comes in and earns and wins that starting job, okay, cool. You still want to have good backup, though, just in case. But you can't put all your eggs into that basket. So hopefully the Baltimore Ravens, they know. They, 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 they know what they got to do. 
We know what they got to do. Let's just see how they get it done.